All right, it's uh, Monday morning, January 8, 2018, and this is part two of, uh, if you saw part one, if you haven't, I'll put it up up here, or up here, I'll put some kind of link somewhere around here, or even in, down in the description, if you want to watch part one. Uh, this is for the Lowe's roof install issues that I was having, and first thing I'll say is I'm happy that the roof finally got done. Basically... Almost a month later to the very day that it was originally supposed to be done. Um, if you go back and watch part one, you can go through that timeline. So here, here's what happened. Here's where it stands right now. Uh, as I said in part one, my house sold. We, we signed a purchase and sales agreement on December 5th. They were supposed to have the roof done. Lowe's scheduled to have the roof done by December 8th. Never happened. No fault of the roofer, the installers, anything like that. Um, I'll get to them in a minute because they were excellent. But uh, it's a month later and it, it didn't actually get started. The job didn't get started until a few days before Christmas. And because of the weather and uh, you know the holidays and, and all that extreme cold we've been having here in the Northeast... It finally got finished last Wednesday, which was uh, January 3rd. Luckily, because on Thursday, January 4th, we had a major blizzard. And that would have really would have been bad if that roof hadn't got done. So I'm going to back up a little bit first. And the whole thing with Lowe's is they have a local... you, know, I, you A local store that I dealt with first. They send their salesman out, right? Local store. He comes out. He was great too, by the way. Agreed to the, you know, everything, the price that, that he knew the house was being sold and they, they figured out a time when it was supposed to be done. So you have a local salesman and then the installer is local too. It's a contractor that they, that Lowe's, you know, um, contracts to do these jobs. So you have local salesman, local contractor. Why in the world do you have someone in Indianapolis trying to schedule when the install is supposed to be done? And from what I understand, this is causing a lot of problems elsewhere with Lowe's with installations. and Because instead of the local guy at the store contacting the local roofer and setting a date, they can talk you know, freely. They're in the same area code. They probably know each other. They can set dates and he can tell them his schedule and they can go back and forth and get back to the customer. They have someone in, they call it CPO, a home office in Indianapolis, trying to schedule like 20 stores. That's where the whole screw up started. And that's, you know, you can go back to part one and, and go through all that again. I don't want to go through that again. But uh, so roof got done January 3rd. Now, because I filed a complaint with the Better Business Bureau which I didn't want to do because it's a, you know, it's just more time. Uh, they, I ended up talking to someone from executive complaints at Lowe's and through the whole thing, not once, as I mentioned in the other video, not once was I offered any kind of discount for, for this long delay. I had material sitting in my driveway, taking up more than half my driveway for uh, almost four weeks you know, three, three and a half weeks around Christmas time. And then we had a dumpster delivered uh, a few days before the job got started. Not a problem. I mean, it's the stuff's in the driveway anyway. But, uh, you know, Christmas time, we're, we live on a very narrow road. So couldn't park in our cars in the driveway. Had to park on the street. And then when you have a snowstorm or a blizzard, I had to mow, I had basically had to plow my front lawn to park cars on there. So we didn't really have anybody over for Christmas because there was just nowhere for people to park. Um, outside of that, let me get back to uh, where this was all going. So executive complaints, I talked to a gentleman and again, not once was I offered any kind of compensation for for the hassle in, you know, with the house being sold and our buyer had to put off their inspection three times. Their bank couldn't do an appraisal. They wanted to wait till the roof was done. So that was on hold. So our closing date just kept getting pushed and pushed. Now keep in mind, we already have another house that we're buying contingent on this house, you know, closing. 
So those people are still wondering what's going on. Uh, so executive complaints, he says, before the job started, he says, well, we'll talk about compensation when the job is completed. And I'm, I'm thinking to myself, well, is the job ever going to be completed? Luckily, it, it was. So a few days, a couple of days before they actually started the job, I spoke to this guy again, and he, he calls. Now, he calls me to check on if the job was completed. Wouldn't you call, make some calls within your own company to find out, before you call a customer who's already upset, to just check on to make sure, see, well, before I call this guy, let me see if anything's been done for us before I speak to him. He had no idea. He calls me. Was the job completed? No. The job was not even started yet. This was on the Friday before Christmas. So he says, all right, well, I'm going on vacation all next week, which is his right, but I'll call you on January 4th when I get back to see, check on your progress. And I, I'm sitting there thinking, January 4th. This was supposed to be done December 8th. Now he's going to call me on January 4th after he comes back from vacation to see if it was even started. Wouldn't if if I was in his, his position, I would have been bending over backwards to get someone else on the job while he was on vacation to check in on things. But no, Lowe's doesn't work like that. They, it, I just get the sense they really don't care. The local guys care. The corporate guys don't care. So uh, the job gets done, and I, I want to say the installers. Were, were unbelievable they showed up in like extreme weather conditions extreme cold they were up there he, uh, he had uh, he brought some extra guys in just to get this thing done knowing there was a, a blizzard coming and you know I can't thank them enough they they really he was the only one that was really keeping me up to date on what was going on because everybody else at Lowe's besides the the salesman in the store and no idea and don't care so when executive complaints calls me back on the day of the blizzard, and he, you know, asked, and that's the second time he's only the second time someone from Lowe's actually called me through this whole thing. I had to make calls all the other times. He uh, he calls me and I'm like, yeah, hi, and he's like, so uh, what's the status on your job? Now again, wouldn't you take two minutes to make a phone call to see what was going on? And I told him, well, the job was completed yesterday. Oh, great. Great, that's excellent. And then he says, "Oh yeah, I'm, I'm looking here that it says you uh, you signed off on." It. I'm like, "Yeah, they got it done, and thank God because it was a blizzard today." He's like, "Great." Now, all this time in the back of my mind, I have what you know. I'm, I'm keeping track of what he said the last time we spoke, or a few times before that, about compensation will be addressed once the job's completed. So I I didn't say anything on this phone call. I didn't want to bring it up. I wanted to see if Lowe's was going to step up and actually offer something for putting us through what they put us through. The guy couldn't get off the phone fast enough. So I, I just had very short answers, yes, no, yep, uh-huh. And that was it, phone call ended. So now keep in mind that I, I said I, we, I did the Better Business Bureau thing and they went back and forth a couple of times. The very next morning, Friday, January 5th, the day after the blizzard, roofs the med done for two days, I get an email from the Better Business Bureau, an update, saying that they spoke to this guy from Executive Complaints at Lowe's, and he said that I reported I was satisfied with the whole job. Satisfied. Case closed. Better Business Bureau lets you add something else in there. So you, you better believe that I, I sent another email to them and said, the job was done. I'm satisfied with the salesman. I'm satisfied with the installers. I am in no way satisfied with Lowe's as a company. I said I would when I finally get to now. There's another story coming up too about this whole house being sold. Uh, I said when I eventually, hopefully, move into a new the new house, I was going to have Lowe's do a job. Never again. Lowe's, I will not deal with Lowe's ever again. They they lost a the customer, and I've been trying to steer people away from them. Um, but the day of the blizzard, now we, we, the roof is done. We think, oh, great. Now, now the, they, the bank can have their appraisal and the buyer can have their inspection. We're thinking it's going to be done within the next couple of days. My realtor calls me on the, 
late afternoon of the day of the blizzard and says, we have an issue. The buyer's financing fell apart. Now, yes, it could have fallen apart. If the roof had gotten done back on December 8th, it probably would have fallen apart back then. But that was, you know, a month ago. And by now, it could have been all, you know, rectified. So right now, we're in limbo. We have a house that we're buying that are waiting to close. And we're trying, our buyer's trying to put back together their financing. And it was nobody else's fault. It wasn't my fault. It wasn't the buyer's fault. It was their financial institution, whoever they're using for their banking, uh, screwed something up on their income, on the income. So they, they already had already approved this person to buy the house. And at the 11th hour, they waited because of the roof, you know, nothing was getting done. So they just let it go, let it go, let it go. And when they finally started looking, they said, well, the roof's done. So we better start really looking into this. They, they found some kind of mistake and now we're on hold. So there was no appraisal, no inspection, no closing date. It was originally supposed to be January 18th or sooner. We're at January 8th right now. There's no way it's going to be then. We've already bought, you know, this was all, this was done. We already bought furniture for the new house that's, that's you know, waiting at the store. Uh, I have a, a huge storage unit that I have to pay another month on now to keep stuff. I got boxes all over my house from packing because we wanted to be ready. Because everything was lining up. All we were waiting on was the roof. So, again, as I said, if this had happened, I don't know, three weeks ago where they found this mistake, it probably would have been fixed by now and we'd have some kind of closing day. We would know what's going on. But because the roof took so long, now it's just like just stress. It's just stress and as I said in the other video, I, nobody, I don't want anybody else to have to go through this. So please really think hard about going to Lowe's for a project. It, it, it's a shame and I really hate having to do this, but what we've been through, it's just, it's, it's just not acceptable to me. And I don't want to put anybody else through this if I, if I can help that in any way. Um, I'm just trying to get my thoughts together here. It's probably all I have to say. Uh, you know, I am happy that the roof is done. They did a great job. Uh, but just getting to this point, this this was just not handled correctly. And Lowe's corporate, CPO, executive complaints, they just, they really don't care. You talk to them and it's like, it's like talking to a broken, talking to the wall, a broken record. It, it's like an automated response with everything. Um, I'm just... It, I, I've had it with their company. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Luckily, I have a Home Depot really close. Really close. And the only reason I went with Lowe's from part one of the video is because I was told that the roof could be done in a timely fashion, you know, because of the house sale. The other the other places that I checked, including Home Depot, they couldn't... They, they were pushed too far out with their job, so... Lowe said they could do it, and obviously they couldn't do it because of a stupid, stupid mistake that, you know, someone scheduled it wrong, and then they lied about it a couple of times, and all they had to do was say, look, I made a mistake, and I probably would have been, all right, well, let's try to work through this, you know, but no, they, they, they didn't want to do that, they didn't want to take the blame for it, and that's where it all went, and then when all went downhill, and that's where we are now on January 8th. We don't know if our house is going to actually end up selling to this these people or this person. And, you know, we're, we're keeping, uh, keeping the faith. So hopefully we'll get some good news uh, today or tomorrow or whatever. But um, just disgusted with Lowe's and just had enough of that company. So I'm going to stop now because I, I, I mean, I could talk all day and I really don't want to um, say any more. I think you get the you get the picture. Uh, thanks for watching, and again, really think hard if you're going to use Lowe's for any kind of job, because uh, I, I I've already made my my so, you know it's funny. One more minute here, I <laughs> I actually had to go drive to Lowe's during the install one night to pick up some extra material because they couldn't get it delivered 
early enough the next morning for the installers to use. So I had to go to the store myself and pick this stuff up. And then I get to the store, you know, it's a 30 minute drive from to the nearest, 20, 30 minute drive to the nearest Lowe's from here. I had to go to the store. When I get to the store, they had no idea. They're looking through the computers. I'm like, and I can see the material behind the counter. I'm like, I'm pretty sure that's it right over there. And wouldn't you know, after about 10 minutes of trying to call this guy, that guy, figure this out, they went over there and there was a note on it with my name, say, just let the customer take this. It's just, no, it, nothing's organized. So, uh, just the fact that I, after all this, I had to go to the store and get materials because their deliveries were all backed up the next day. Wouldn't you the, just do something, send somebody from the store in their own car to bring materials to a customer that's been waiting for a month to have a job done, but I don't know. Anyway, uh, and I needed uh, ice melt, you know, for the, the blizzard. So they had plenty of ice melt at Lowe's when I went there to pick up the materials, but did I buy any? No, I went into the zoo called Walmart, which was down the street, and waited in a long line just to get a bag of ice melt because I didn't want to deal with Lowe's or give them any more of my money. So that's it. Thanks for watching, and uh, anybody has any questions, just leave a comment. See ya.